Looking for a group of teenagers who attacked not one, but two women in Central Park in two separate incidents just minutes apart. Yeah, both victims were out jogging when they were hit from behind. Pick up Nicole Johnson spoke with one of them and has the latest from Central Park. For years, Central Park has been part of her normal routine, a safe place for morning jogs until this happened. All of a sudden, bikes got very, very close to me on either side and I got shoved to the ground. Speaking to PIX11 News by phone, a 32-year-old woman describes a random attack. It was just before 9 Wednesday morning here on East Drive near 75th Street. After being attacked by a group of teens riding city bikes... I was, like, started to cry a little bit because I was obviously scared um, and just totally in shock. I was in pain. I felt like extremely violated. I run in the park every single day. I grew up in New York. Trying to focus with scrapes and bruises on her hands, arms and knees, she realized witnesses saw everything but did nothing. No one really came like around to like see if I was okay, even though a million people saw it, which was kind of uh, a shame. The victim is not alone. About 10 minutes later, a similar attack. Police say the same group of teens attacked a 47 year old woman from behind with a hard hit to the back of her head. She didn't fall to the ground, she said, but she was like, she said her vision went dark for like two minutes. Right now, police are looking at surveillance video from cameras in the area in hopes to identify three teenagers involved, ages 15 and 16. Meantime, this avid runner has a message to other women who run in Central Park, even in broad daylight. Try to run with someone else, you know, try, try not to wear headphones when you go running. Both victims are expected to be okay. In the meantime, police need your help finding the teens responsible. If you have any information on their whereabouts, call Crime Stoppers. The number's right there. It's 800-577-TIPS. On the Upper East Side, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.